my greetings to all the viewers of yearn to learn and welcome back to my channel so friends what is in these days the ai yes the artificial intelligence and what we hear the most the debatable chat gpt today i'm going to share with you what is chat gpt and how it is useful for teachers the first one i'm going to cover in few seconds chat gpt is a generative pre-trained transformer it is a chat bot so ai gives you answers for your questions and the first part is over coming to the second part how teachers can use it so chat gpt for teachers now you must have seen a lot of videos or where uh, you know uh, people are explaining how teachers can use it but here is the trick that if you really want to save your time energy and use it efficiently then how to do that i'll do that with an example and before i start i just want to uh, make sure one thing uh, like um, your teachers or whosoever uh, the viewer is in front of me you are very creative and a human's creativity cannot be compared with a chatbot so always trust your own um, skill your own talent your own capability but do take help of the ai and then modify it as per your call so let's begin so what i was talking about was you must have seen uh, that what are the uses of chat gpt or let us ask the chat gpt only how uh, teachers can use it you can mention as many ways as you want i'll just list ask for the five ways so let me type uh, list five ways teachers can use chat gpt and let's see what responses are we getting so it's telling us as an ai language model chat gpt can be valuable tool for teachers to use in a variety of ways and the ways are research assistance and then you can uh, use it as a writing prompt then language practice and further we have virtual uh, tutoring that can be done and classroom discussion so it has given us uh, five ways now i'm going to share about how you can take its help now every teacher has to make a lesson plan uh, be it grade nursery or um, primary wing or middle or seniors so you can get your lesson plan tailor made with the help of chat gpt while i was talking of instructions say if you are just writing create a lesson plan for me and you write you know um maybe a uh, class 5 and you enter it now something is missing in the prompt and uh, it is going to give you the answer as per its own understanding like sure and then it has given a topic introducing the water cycle now since we did not specify any topic it has assumed it and it is giving us the lesson plan so the first tip while using chat gpt is be very specific of what you want and give as many inputs as you can so that it can give you better results now i'm going to modify what i wrote earlier so we can regenerate response by clicking here and we can edit our statement by clicking at this icon and now create a lesson plan for me class 5 and now i'm going to put for say mathematics fractions and uh, with a warm up activity for three classes now i have specified that i want a three classes lesson plan and i want a warm up activity as well the class is 5 the subject is mathematics and the topic is fractions so now see what result it gives us so while you see it has taken the topic as understanding fractions now it has taken the class level it is further giving us the objective and what materials are required what is the warm up activity here are the steps to it and it's still generating what is going to be the main activity for that 
and the lesson plan goes on further so teachers be it any subject english science mathematics social science or for that matter computers whatever you are teaching so specify the time frame in which you are going to take up that topic and then see it has given you assessment and the extension activity as well so all that you can do. if you want some assessment activity you can mention that so it's very clear it can make a lesson plan for you now it's up to you how you want to tailor it do take its help but then modify it you can copy it put it in the word document and edit it as per your need uh let's see what else we can do with chat gpt now um say i have covered the fractions chapter and now i want a worksheet to be given to the students so what can i do i'm taking maths as an example you can um, take more we can see further so uh let's take uh, the example um create a mcq worksheet for students of class five topic fractions consisting of 10 questions with answer key so just to help the teacher let's see could it create a worksheet of 10 questions the topic the class we have mentioned and we want the answer key along so it is creating it it has already given the instruction choose the correct answer for each of the questions that we really want so what is the denominator in this particular fraction the answer also it is giving which of the following fractions is equivalent to this and so on so you see that it is creating it and the good thing is if you do not like it or if you uh, want to regenerate you have the option you can stop it in middle and ask it to regenerate or once you can let it complete and then ask it to regenerate its response so this was mathematics you can do the same for anything um and not just now we have covered lesson plan and worksheet we can go ahead with the games as well because gaming is quite in so uh, let's see that um, say i want create three games for teaching landscapes to class 3 or let it uh, be teaching landscapes of india to class 3 so i'm asking it to suggest me three games that i can take for landscapes topic landscapes of india for class level 3 that has started the scavenger hunt for landscape that can be taken up then uh, guess the landscape again see it is very specific it is giving the instructions and as i said earlier you can modify it so here it has suggested the uh, games that you can take up so uh, teachers this is just an example you can even set your question paper if you give it a uh, specific input as i said that maximum marks are 30 uh, create five multiple choice questions three long answer questions and so on uh, you can specify the weightage and you would wonder at what it can create for you and your job is just 5 minutes to review it and to add your input this is a very crisp video helping you uh, to help yourself and save your time energy and be very efficient in your work so uh, as uh, the debate is going on that it is not good i would say if you use your own skill with it and combine it and be not dependent on it then it is going to be a very useful tool for you so all the best for my from my side and keep watching learn to learn thank you god bless you all